Hey everybody, it's Josie from Carolina Wildlife Center. We are here today to talk about renesting baby squirrels. So for the purpose of this video, this little toy mouse is going to pretend to be our baby squirrel. Um, so let's say you're walking around in your backyard doing some yard work and you find a little baby squirrel. It could be about this size. It's going to probably be pale pink. Um, they could be as small as a piece of bubble gum even. Um, the first thing you want to do is is just briefly examine him and see does he look bruised? Um, is there blood? Has he been caught by a cat or a dog? In any of these scenarios you want to take him directly to a rehabilitation center. You can bring him to us at Carolina Wildlife Center um, or you can go visit Animal Help Now on the internet and look up a local rehabilitation center near you. If the baby squirrel does not have any apparent injuries you want to try and re-nest it before taking it to a rehabilitation center. Um, these animals want to parent. They want. They are out looking for their babies. They don't just nonchalantly shrug it off like, ah, oh, fell out of a tree. Too bad for you. So we want to try and give the mom the opportunity to come down and pick up her baby. Mom will not re-nest the babies if they are cold. She will assume that they have passed away and will not bother with them. So they need to be warm. So what we need to do is make sure that the baby squirrel is warm. You can bring him inside and put him on a soft towel on a low heating pad. But what's even better, because we really want him out there in the wild with mom as soon as possible so she doesn't miss him, is you can take an old sock, fill it with rice, secure it somehow so that the rice doesn't come out of the top, any of these things. Put the sock with the rice, uncooked rice by the way, into the microwave for a few minutes just so that it's nice and warm. And when you have that sock, you want to place it in your box. But first we want to put some nesting material in this box. This box is way too deep um, for mom, so we're going to do that first. Alright, so we've filled our sock with rice, put it in the microwave so that it's warm to the touch. And we're going to put it in the box with all this nesting material. Now, if the squirrel nest fell out completely, you can just put the whole nest right in this box. So we're going to put our warmer over here, and we're going to place baby squirrel right over there. We don't want them to touch so that he doesn't get burned. We just want him to stay warm. All right, the next step in the process is to put your box with the baby squirrel at the base of the tree where you found him. He will make little noises. Our little toy makes some noises, but he, you can touch him a little bit to make him cry out. That way mom knows he's there. But he's going to get hungry and cry out, and she will hear him. If a tree was cut completely down, you can still put the box where the tree was or near the closest tree, and she will come back and get him and take him to a new nest in a new tree nearby. It takes them about an hour to make a nest, and they usually have multiple nests to begin with. So let's make sure we give Mama a chance here. A very important part of this process is to make sure you go away. Mama Squirrel is not going to come down if you are there. You are a giant predator. So go into the house and leave it. Okay, one of the big things we hear why people can't re-nest is because of cats. If you have cats, take them in the house. Give mama a chance to come down and get her babies. If it's a neighbor's cat, see if they'll take them in. If it's just a wild cat that's just roaming the area, you can do something else. And we'll talk about that next. Alright, so if there's a cat in the area and you don't feel comfortable leaving the shoebox on the ground, you can use a hanging basket. Um, I've seen people get really creative with duct tape, bungee cords, rope. You can attach that shoebox four or five feet up in the air if you can get it up even higher with a ladder, just be safe. Um, but hanging baskets are really great too. Another thing that's really important is to not give that baby squirrel anything to eat or drink. It's really easy to aspirate these little guys. Um, and that just means they're getting fluid down in their lungs. Um, and once we've given them something to eat or drink, it's pretty unlikely that mom is going to take them back. 
Um, mama squirrels will come back for their babies 75% of the time. So we really want to encourage you um, to try and re-nest. Thank you so much. Help us keep these animals in the wild where they belong. Visit our website, carolinawildlife.org, for more rescue advice. Help us keep these animals in the wild. Well, the real ones, anyways. Thanks for your support.